So right here in my hand, I have a battery that goes to my drone. And I have four of these batteries. But this one here in particular scares the hell out of me. So welcome back to another episode of the vlog. And today we're not going on any crazy adventures. We're actually gonna stay right here in the room. So in my hand here is a DJI Intelligent Flight Battery. And I have four of these batteries. The reason why I have four of them is because normally whenever I go on a flight or whenever I go out somewhere or if I'm working a job and I'm using the drone, one battery just doesn't cut it for me. And if that job requires multiple flights and I'm using the drone a lot, one battery just isn't gonna cut it for me. Two batteries isn't enough, three is okay, but four is usually like the maximum, I think. Four batteries, I think, is the appropriate number, especially for a Mavic Pro. If you have been watching the videos and keeping up with the vlog over the past couple weeks, you know that I recently had to send the drone out to California back in December to get it repaired. During that time, I had all four of these batteries with me, and they pretty much just sat over on my desk. I didn't do anything with them. I maybe moved them around here and there whenever I had to straighten up or just move stuff and get some space so I can work. Then when I finally got my drone back, I went ahead and I charged all the batteries because I was super excited. I wanted to go out and I wanted to fly the drone. And to charge them, I used this Power Extra for Mavic charger. This right here, without a doubt, was one of my smartest purchases for a drone. The best part about this charger is that it charges three of those batteries all at once. So on the charger where the three batteries get plugged into, there are these three lights right here. And at first when you're charging them, if the batteries are low, they're red. But when they're all full, they're green. When the batteries are fully charged and the lights are green, the lights here on the back of the battery itself are off. They don't turn on. So when I went to go and charge these batteries, I had all of them charged, but this one right here was doing something funny. So the light on the port where it was charging was green and all four of these lights were on, which is something I had never seen before. So I had no clue what was going on. And then when I took it off of the charging port, the four lights stayed on. They stayed on for like another five minutes or so before I went out the door and I just left it there. This battery was freaking me out. I did not know what to do with it. So I kept this battery away from all of my other batteries for the last couple weeks because I didn't want to take this with me on a job or when shooting a vlog and have my drone high up in the air with this battery giving it juice and then something happened with it, thus sending the drone tumbling and crashing and breaking and then I'd have to have a repeat of December with no drone all over again. And real quick, before we do go anywhere, I do apologize if at some point the audio in this video decided to cut over to the right channel. I don't know why it does that, but I think I have to get a new microphone because something's screwed up on the. But I digress. So in order to test and see if this battery works, like I said, we don't have a whole lot of time. I'm not planning on going anywhere crazy. I'm going to do what every YouTuber with a drone does to get views on their channel, and we're going to fly it inside of this room. Yes. That's how we're gonna test this battery. Before testing this out, quick disclaimer, this test I am about ready to do on the battery is not at all 100% safe or accurate to test and see if this battery is still good to go. If you're worried that one of your drone batteries probably is broken or may not be the best to use for your drone anymore, either send your battery in or just go out and get a new one. It is recommended by most drone experts that you will replace your batteries at least once a year because these things will not last forever. And that's probably what I'm gonna have to do here. But let's go ahead and just fly this thing and see if it works. I'm not sure if you, if you guys can see the drone, but right there, we're gonna go ahead and fly it and see, see if this works. See if it'll take off at least. So I guess it works if it lifts off. Hold on. Uh oh. It won't it won't move. So hang on. I'm trying to move this thing all the way over and it's not working. Let's check this thing. Okay. That was a little terrifying. Probably will never be doing that again at all. I think that this is the last time that battery will ever be attached to this drone, period. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go out and get a new battery, which is totally fine. They're not terribly expensive. There was something wrong when it was probably because of me flying it indoors. I couldn't, and I was like pushing full throttle on this thing to go to the left and it just wasn't working. And I was like 100% convinced that it was going to fly into the window 
and probably wouldn't have been very good. So I'm glad that I caught it and I'm glad that I ended that before something really bad happened. As long as the drone is okay, then I am okay. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey.